Welcome to the Online Entrepreneur Experience podcast that details the ins and outs, the how to's, and the ups and downs of living a life of an online business owner. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Online Entrepreneur Experience. What I want to talk to you guys about today is unrealistic expectations. But before I get into that, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of this content. As well, if you are watching it on a podcast, make sure you leave a review. We would appreciate that so, so, so much. Just let you guys know, that is by far the most inf- best, most important information that Renee is going to give you throughout this whole thing. Is that right there. If you guys could do that for us, we'd be so, so, so great. That could be our Christmas present. That, I think that would be a good Christmas present. What do you think? Great Christmas present. I love Christmas presents. So, of course, that is Mark, a.k.a. the Viking mar- marketer. I am Deuces. And let's get into this. I want to talk to you about unrealistic expectations. So, Mark, what, what do you think of unrealistic expectations? How do you classify that? Well, I would kind of start that off by, by saying like, you probably had unrealistic expectations that I was going to behave myself on this podcast and not go and hit you back for some comments that you made. You know what just happened? You know what we just finished off? Uh, we just finished off watching the Eagles. They, they just flew to victory and they, they had a couple of weeks of practice. They put in that practice and now they're putting up the W's. All right. So just letting you know, they're, they're in the implementation stage. So you thinking that I was just going to let that stuff slide for like as long as I have was an unreal expectation. But uh, enough with the flashing lights of Christmas time and all that good stuff. I'll, t- I'll, I'll turn off my uh, walking decoration uh, and <laughs> get into actually some good information for you guys. Uh, and if you guys are listening on audio, I just had flashing lights all over my chest because um, I tell Renee all the time that I'm a walking decoration. But um, I, I think a lot of people think unrealistic expectations goes towards the goals that they set um, and how much they can achieve. And I think that is the most wrong way of thinking about unrealist, uh, unrealistic expectations. I think it has more to do with the execution. Um, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to take your thunder. This is, this is your show, bro. I'm just one of the clowns. So I want to know what, what, what are your thoughts on this unreal expectation? I know you're super prepared. You said you're going to take this one to the house for us. Let's hear it, baby. Love it, man. Love it. So that sweater is, it's epic. All the lights on there flashing all kinds of different colors. And for those of you who are listening and can't see, it's actually like a, Philadelphia Eagles Stadium and it's all the lights in the background and it's pretty festive it's uh it is definitely a walking decoration you got there <laughs> I freaking love it so unrealistic expectations to me is how do I say it it's it's more like to, well for me in my opinion on this is the word expectation that is the negative connotation that goes along with when we say an unrealistic expectation, because some people, most people will actually think of an unrealistic expectation as a way for them to set the bar high so that they can push themselves higher to reach it. However, if you attach an expectation to that, that's when things go sour, because if you don't reach your goal, by a certain time that you have set for yourself, that's when you get discouraged, when you're going to feel dumb, unworthy. That's when the imposter syndrome will start kicking in. And that's when you will quit. Whether it's going to the gym, starting your online business, whatever, finding the perfect relationship, whatever. If you're setting an unrealistic expectation and you put an expectation on it that's when you will quit and you will fail what do you think i love that man i I think that's so like so immaculately like represented there and 
honestly, guys, I'm sure you've done it like a million gazillion times in your own life. And the majority of the time that the unreal expectations come out is one on timelines, just like Renee said. So it's just like, I need to make a million dollars by the age of 26. And if I don't, I'll forever be a failure. It's just like, how does that make any sense? By the age of 26, you barely know anything in life. So why do you need to be a millionaire by then? And how is that a reasonable expectations of you getting everything that you need to be able to become the person that can make a million dollars? And why does it have to be by 26? You're probably going to leave. I believe the average age of a man is like 82 and a woman is 86 right now. So it's just like, so by 26, you're not even halfway through your life. You're not even a third of the way through your life. So like, why would that time period matter for you? So it's just like, those are like the real big un, like unfair, uh, uh, ungood, uh, un everything expectations. And when you, when you put that realisticness to it, and so you have to ask yourself, is it realistic or not for me to be able to make a million dollars? Yes, it's 1000% realistic that you could be a millionaire. And there, there, anybody that could tell you that, uh, that, that, that isn't true, um, is a liar. And that's just because they have self-confidence issues and insecurities of their own. And they're just trying to put those things on, on you as well, but you can, but doing it in like three months or doing it in say a year, most likely it won't be able to happen. Some people are able to do that. Some people can make a million dollars a year. And that's great. Um, that's super, super amazing. But th for the masses, Usually you have to put in like work effort over long term or invest your money certain ways and stuff like that. And that's generally has, how it has to be. So, I mean, saying that it won't happen for you, that's wrong. And anybody that tells you that it's super, super wrong as well. And I think there, that is the third way of saying things are unreal expectations is you putting your own expectation, your own insecurities, your own self-loathing and all that stuff like that onto other people. I think that is the third way of uh, putting those unrealistic expectations is the goals that you have are different from somebody else and you should never tear down somebody else's goals because you can't see them yourself. No, and I, I love the way you said that because it's not always an unrealistic expectation that we put on ourselves. It's also ones that we can put on other people or that other people have put on us. Um, when I used to work a full-time job, my boss put unrealistic expectations on me all the time. And I'm sure most of you people, you people, that sounded bad. Why does that sound so bad? <laughs> Most of the people watching this right now or listening to it work a full-time job and they have a boss who also puts unrealistic expectations on them. They give you a workload that's way too high with a paycheck that's way too low and you just show up and you do as best as you can. But at the same time, you're always feeling bad, feeling like you made a mistake. You're feeling, you know, horrible. And it's, the boss that put that on you. So now you want to quit. And that's the whole idea with what I just said about it's the expectation, whether you are expecting something of somebody else or expecting something of yourself, you need to do, you need to ask yourself some realistic questions, especially if you're putting those unrealistic expectations on yourself. How is this actually going to benefit me? And how is this, expectation going to help me reach my goal. Sure. You can start planning. You can plan, prioritize, be persistent and practice. You can do all of that every day, but you still might not reach that goal. So what does that do to you mentally? If you can't reach that goal? I think there's a third part to that as well is communicating to the people that you need to communicate to. Let's just say that like you're in a relationship and you have a significant other, you're blessed to have an amazing one. Uh, like the, the two of us uh, kind gentlemen have um, and um, that um, you know that you need to come home and you need to go like work on something. You need to go finish the project that you're working on or whatever it is. You have a deadline to hit, but you don't commu communicate it to your significant other. So they're on a whole different wavelength. And because you guys are a team, regardless of if you guys are business partners or just partners in life, um, you still need to communicate those to, to those people so they know that there's expectation. I'm coming home, I need to work on this because you could walk in the door and they could be like, oh man, I need to go grocery shopping, I'm out the door. And then because you didn't properly communicate 
to, to give yourself that time as well. Uh, you put un, unrealistic expectations on people because they're unknown. It's just like if you have bi business partners or people that work for you or you work with, you have to always have everyone that's going to affect where you're going be in the know. They have to know because if they don't know, um, they, they will uneducatedly get in your way constantly. No, and I love that you brought up communication because to me, communication is huge in all aspects of life, especially when you're talking about um, you and your spouse or your significant other. Because without that communication, you're right. There, there, there is no common ground of what I am going to do as soon as I get home or what she is going to do for the night while I'm trying to build my business. And a part of that communication is you, you need to share your goals and your expectations of yourself with your significant other. Because like Mark said, if you do not have that communication, there's going to be a disconnect. And that's when heads will roll fights will start. And so communicating your expectations is huge. And also be re realistic with yourself. If you set a goal to make 10 to $20,000 a month with an online business, and you just started, you just started, people have done it. People do it all the time. But be those people, again, with those people, <laughs> So <laughs> the people who have made 10 to $20,000 within their first month of starting an online business, they knew what work they needed to put in to reach that goal. And they did it. Now, their situation might be different from yours or mine or Mark's. So they can do that. But if you see that success and you want to mimic that, well, you got to mimic the work too. It's not just, you can't just set the expectation and expect it to happen. Yeah. And I mean, that's so, so key. And I, I say this to people all the time uh, because people want my success. They want to be, they want to make as much money as me, be able to do all the things that I do and have what I have. And that's cool. Like, that's awesome. But are you going to outwork me? You can't do less work than me. You can't put in less less effort and you can't have less knowledge and be like, I'm going to outproduce you. That, that's just not what it works. Like the, there's a math and there's equation to all of life. And it's just like, it, it, it's, you can't be like in a relationship and be like, I, I'm going to love you less, but you have to love me more. And it's just like, no, that's not going to work. It doesn't work. That's not a partnership. That's not real love. That's just you wanting somebody to just want you. Um, so it just, you have to know these things and be able to understand these things for yourself. It's just like, if you want these things to be able to ha happen, like I had somebody like that I mentored first month I ever worked with them, they had $28,000. That only happened to me one time. And it was the guy just came in. I was like, what did I have to do? He was a former plumber and he got laid off and he's like, I got some money in the bank and I am ready to put in whatever effort that I, I need to do. Um, and he did. And he just, he, he just went at it and it was great. It was, it was amazing to see somebody that hit $28,000 in one month. But the reason why they hit that $28,000 is because they were putting in more effort than me. I was making more money than them, but they were putting in more effort than I was at the time, but they just were building their business up and they had to do it. So you can't come in here or do anything. You can't go to the gym and just not show up for the gym and expect your body's going to be super fit. You can't go and start a business and not put any energy or effort or half assed and expect these amazing things. Like the, the amount that you're investing into something has to be enough to get the outcome for it. And if you don't have those, you're not going to be able to get the end result back to you. Makes total sense to me. Put work in. You get whatever you want back out. So I think, I think we beat that dead horse. Yeah. I think <laughs> we just stomped it. It's, uh, it's still pulsating, but uh, <laughs> it's going down. It's going down. But guys, honestly, in the end of the day, and I'll just say this one last thing. It's just don't let other people's expectations affect yours. Uh, your expectations, your goals in life are yours strictly 
they are yours and they should always be yours just because somebody else doesn't have the vision that they can see it. That does not mean that. And do not give yourself this false sense of hope because you just decided to pay some money that you're going to be now a millionaire. You also have to put the workload in that's, that's going to go along with it. So don't do either one of those things. Those are the two biggest detriments that I see to people that want to be entrepreneurs, want to be business owners, want to be uh, like very, very wealthy people is they, they don't match what they want with the work ethic or the, the energy that they want to put into something. Yeah. The other kind of tidbit to go along with that is you can't compare yourself to others who have been there longer or even ones who have started after you and worked harder than you and are now more successful. You just work on you and you alone with your own goals and your own realistic attainable goals. <laughs> I love that. With no time periods that they'll put on to it. But I think that's a great way to end it. And see, Renee was just focusing on, on himself and the, the, the value that he wanted to give, and he did it. <laughs> Love it, man. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next week. Hope you enjoy it. Like Renee said at the beginning, make sure you guys leave us those reviews, those comments, those loves, those likes, and hit the bell. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning into the Online Entrepreneur Experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.